Hey cutie pies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be filming a plan with me that I'm really, really excited for. Um, this is my plan with me for the week of Halloween. And if you guys know anything about me, you know that I love Halloween and Michael Myers is my absolute favorite. Um, also Chucky, but Michael Myers is first. Um, and I wanted to do a really, really cute Halloween kit and the one that I was going to use, and I feel like a broken record right now because I've mentioned it so many times, but um, I ordered it late and it hasn't gotten here and it's currently Thursday night and I just really want to plan. <laughs> so um, I was going to be saving this kit because I feel like I have a lot of occasions that I'd want to use this kit, but I'm going to go ahead and use it now and I'm really, really excited to use it. Um, so let's, we got a lot going on here and also... Noelle is snoring so loud. I don't know why she's being so loud, but she is. So you're definitely gonna be able to hear her. Um, but I'll go ahead and go through the kit first. This is from Keytown, and I have used another one of uh, Keaton's kits before. Um, it was my Wendy the Pooh kit, and it was another like scene kit, and I'm really excited for this. And I looked back at that kit to make sure that I'd be able to use this and make it work with like how busy my week was at the beginning and I should be able to do it. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm just excited to be able to plan this week. I miss my boyfriend so much and I just wanna put down everything that we did on Monday and Tuesday, although I know that when I plan Tuesday, I'm gonna be really emotional because that's the day that he left. Um, so, yep, we have that kit right there and then I have a ton of red foil here. Um, from Sticky Essentials and from Chasing Chels. So I have this bottom washi overlay, which I'm going to use, I think, either at the top or the bottom of these boxes. Maybe the top. Maybe. We shall see. Um, and then uh, I have these quotes, which you guys have seen me use in the past. I have some header overlays, which I have these ones, and I have the Chasing Chels ones, a bunch of icons, and then I've got a bunch of scripts too, so that is very helpful. And then from Chasing Chels, I have her foil bundle in red. I just, I'm so excited for this. There's gonna be a lot of red foil, and I think I should be able to use just red foil. If not, I'm probably gonna pull in hollow, because you guys know how I feel about hollow. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I uh, wrote down a couple questions uh, about my boyfriend um, from my Instagram. I got other questions too, but I just really want to talk about him because I really miss him. So we go and do that. Um, but I think first I need to get started with planning. So I don't remember how I did this before because I need the spacing to be perfect. So I think I'm going to start from the top and go down. I don't know why she's being so loud and I'm, I really hope that like it doesn't bother you guys because uh, she is a very loud snorer but um, yes I I don't know oh my God. I, I just I feel like this is all I'm gonna talk about and you guys are gonna get tired of me hearing or hearing me say like how much I miss him but I do and I know that everything's gonna work out I just miss him, you know? It's hard having someone away from you. And um, he is deployed. I mentioned that in my last video, but he's deployed and um, I don't know a definite of how long he's gonna be gone, but he's gonna be gone for over half a year, but less than a year, hopefully. So there's that. That was actually one of the questions. So there's that. Um, the next one that I feel like goes in order is how did we meet? So I think it's really, really cute. So we met on a dating app. We actually matched on a different dating app. Um, sorry, I need to do some thinking really quick because I'm going to be using day extenders for two days and I think I'm going to use hollow ones. I have some of those left over so let me get those out really quick you want hollow or silver hollow or silver let's actually do silver I did hollow last week let's do silver 
Um, so. So we met, we matched on a dating app and that was last year. And then for whatever reason, we fell off of talking, but before we like fell off of talking, we um, had exchanged Snapchats. And so like we, we had each other's Snapchats and there's that. Okay, so we'll remember that for later on in the story. And then we matched on a different dating app and again, for whatever reason, fell off of talking. I mean, both of us are workaholics, so I'm guessing that's what it was. But it was also, like, it probably just wasn't our time, even though I would have loved to have met him earlier. Um, and then he was in Austin one weekend, and the way he describes it is, like, he shot, he wanted to shoot a shot, and basically was like, hey, like, I'm in Austin, I'd love to hang out with you, I know we haven't talked in a while, and I was, like, so caught off guard, I was like, what? Who are you? <laughs> Just so bad, because I didn't remember that I had given him my Snapchat when we matched before. But um, I wasn't able to hang out that night um, because I was watching my little brother. So I was like, I'm sorry, I can't hang out tonight, but I'd love to, you know, hang out in the future. Can we keep talking? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. So we started talking and been talking every day since it's really really cute and I come to find out that he like really was like waiting to make his move <laughs> like he watched my snapchat stories and stuff and um there's been times where like I mentioned like my wine glass that I showed you guys one time um that has the skeleton hand on it I mentioned that and he was like oh yeah I saw that in your snapchat story a couple weeks ago and I was like what oh but then we were in bed and I was showing him TikToks and one of the accounts that I follow had just like, it was just this guy who says a lot of things that are like really sad but like relatable. And he was like, oh, I remember that guy from your Snapchat stories. And I was like, what? You do? And he was like, yeah, I started seeing you post a lot of them in a row and I was like, I need to make my move soon. And I just like, oh. Oh, this man, you guys. I love this man so much. So, um, then we met, we started dating, and fell in love. And, yeah, we've only been dating for a couple weeks, but I feel like when you know, you know. And we both know, and I, I'm just so happy that I finally found my person. Like, I, I love this man with all of my heart, and I'm just so, so happy and so proud to have him as my boyfriend for me to be his girlfriend. So, uh, there's that. And that's kind of like almost all the questions. The other one is what is my favorite thing about him? And there's so many things that I love about him. Um, he is the sweetest, cutest, funniest, most amazing, like, person I've ever met. Um, he treats me so nicely, so well. He really cares about me and he shows it so much. And, it's just the way that he looks at me and it just makes me feel like I'm the only person in the world with him <laughs> like I don't even know how to explain it I'm getting like butterflies right now talking about it but I just I adore this man with all of my everything and I'm so excited for everything in our future I see a future with him. He's shown me, like, how beautiful life can be in just the few weeks that we've known each other. And I'm forever thankful for him and so glad that we finally met and that I finally found my person. Um, <laughs> just, I love him so much. And I'm just, I'm so happy. Um, I just, I don't even know, like, what to say, but those are all the questions that I had about him. Um, I am currently wearing his flannel, and, um, one thing that I really wanted to do that I thought of, um, and I can't remember if I got this idea from somebody else or not, um, but I 
I like took a picture of his soap before um, I left and got his deodorant like um, sent from him and I went to the store and I picked them up and so I smell like him and I'm wearing his clothes and it's just like a really nice reminder. We have a ton of pictures that we took together, which I also love. Um, this is my first time dating somebody through a deployment. Um, I am from a military family, so deployments are not new to me, but it's different when it's your significant other, I feel. I've had friends that have deployed. My parents deployed a lot when I was younger, but it's just different. Um, so I know that a couple of you have messaged me and you have experience, and I'm very thankful for that, and I am open to any tips you guys have. Um, I know that it's going to be long, but it's going to be worth it in the long run because he's my person and like the only choice we have is to make it through this. So I'm excited, but yeah, we took a lot of pictures together um, on our phones and also on my Polaroid camera. And I have like three pictures in my car. I have a picture in my phone case, which is also like my wallet. Um, I have some pictures on my fridge. And then I made a couple, I think I might have shown this before, but I have this little coffin and I put two of my favorite pictures of us in there and that sits on my desk. And then I have um, a little coffee mug and I have a bunch of the pictures that we took together and like pictures of him. And so I have pictures like wherever I go basically. Um, and then my phone background is obviously him. Both of them are different pictures. And then I made some like photo widgets and I have some like shortcuts or whatever widgets for like um, going to our um, playlist that we have with our songs and to my photo album that has all the pictures of us and that I, pictures that I save of him that he sends me. Um, and it's just, it's beautiful, it's amazing. And we have been able to talk um, the first day um, that he got there. Uh, the connection was really, really bad. I mean, our connection stayed good, you know, cause we're cute and stuff, but um, he got like a Wi-Fi puck thing and it's supposed to help, but obviously if there's not good signal, it's not gonna, you know, help. But we ended up being able to FaceTime the first day and then today which is Thursday um, well okay so last night Wednesday night going into Thursday um, Wednesday night it was super late and I had just really really bad anxiety and I couldn't fall asleep and I haven't felt that way in a really long time um, but I think it was my body like warning me like hey you're about to have some really really terrible nightmares um, so I had some really really terrible nightmares um, and I like couldn't sleep but because of the time difference he was awake and I was just like snapchatting him um, in and out of sleep like I'd wake up from you know each nightmare and be able to talk to him for a second but um, at like six o'clock in the morning my time we talked on the phone for a little bit and it just it helped so much and it made my day until we FaceTimed um, before he went to bed, which then again made my day. So we have been able to talk. He is in quarantine right now. So it means we have time to talk, which makes me really happy. And I'm just so happy. I'm so in love and it feels amazing. Oh, I remember. Okay. So I need to make sure that I white out these like in between lines right here because it will bother me, you know? And I'm probably gonna be able to see the white out, but I'd rather see the white out than see the lines, you know? You feel? Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I think this might be the best way to do these if you're doing these like scene kits because. Um, well, at least if you're doing them the way that I am right here, where you still want to have um, two full boxes to put all of your stuff in. Um, so I end up not using the bottom washi, which is okay. Um, I wanted to use the bottom washi this week because I have the really pretty overlays from Delilah. Um, 
but I'm gonna be able to use those on this box, so that's okay. But like with the Winnie the Pooh one, I remember that bottom washer was really cute, so I was a little sad that I didn't get to use it, but I like marking a lot of things in my planner, so I need that extra space, and so I do it this way, and I feel like it works out really well for me, so I'm really, really excited. And like I said, I was wanting to save this kit because I was like, there's so many occasions, but when I came, when it came down to it, I was like, well, one, I really want to play it now and I don't want to get behind and I'm trying to, you know, upload a lot for you guys. Um, but two, the vibes of this kit and the other kit are very similar. They're both black and red, which actually are uh, my boyfriend's favorite colors. So I love that. Um, and also they both have like scary movie characters in them and the other one does I believe have a Michael Myers in it So it works if I want to use that for the week that I start my horror sleeve um, When I was doing my sticker collection video, I was like, oh, this would be so cute if you know Like I saved it for a couple years um, Well many years and used it for like if I had a baby Or found out I was pregnant or whatever during Halloween time because like these are like Halloween kids, which is so cute. I love this idea so much. Um, so, um, I was just like, you know what? No, like, I messaged Delilah. I was like, should I just use this kit? She's like, yeah, honestly, like, I'm in love with it. And I was like, same. So, that's where we're at right now. Um, let's see. We have these date covers here. We also have some from Rose Colored Days. These like black ones. I think he's like our date dots with. Or do I just want to like stay with these? I'm just not a huge fan of this font. So let's see. I really don't want to mess up my nails. These are like stickers. I think I've mentioned that before. But my mom is really into doing them and she did them for me and I think they look really cute. And I'm also currently drinking coffee because I'm honestly kind of terrified to go to sleep tonight after how bad my nightmares were last night. Um, they haven't been that bad in a very long time. Normally, too, if I get nightmares, I only have one or two during the night. The last night was literally completely filled with nightmares, so that was not fun at all. Let's see. Do I want to do these? Or is it going to look weird? Because they don't have a background for them. Mm. Mm. But if I do these, I could do the do not cross, do not disturb, whatever it says. Police crossing thing from Delilah. I'm going to start by whiting out the dates here because I know that I'm gonna do that no matter what I don't know I should have figured this out I just was so excited to plan because after this I'm definitely gonna start pulling stickers um, for the week and probably cry some more honestly like I've gotten into this routine of like um, going to our photo album together and doing like the slideshow and wherever you go or wherever you will go um, comes on or I have it like set to play and it just I get in my feels but it's okay and it's like a good it's like a wow I, I love this guy so much okay let's see executive decision time Emily what are we going to do washi oh no oh no okay we're hot mess express today you guys i just like dropped this and a big old piece of hair is on it so i'm gonna have to get rid of this tuesday and we're gonna have to skip tuesday and go on so let's see i have an idea okay here's my idea you guys I have these labels. Oh, these are too big. Crap. 
These are like way too big. Dang. I thought I got the small ones too, but I didn't. Uh, I don't know you guys. Uh, I should have planned this out better. Let's see. Um, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea, you guys. I have, oh, but this simply gilded washi is black. It's not gonna work. Crap. I really should have like planned this out better. I have this washi that I could have used. That'd be really pretty. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's look through my date covers. Let's see what what old Emily has in the in the um. Yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say because I don't know what I'm trying to say. In the old collection, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I have anything black. Like, I have all these, like, colorful ones. But I don't have anything black. What color am I doing? Silver. Uh, I'm so mad. Sheet. Sorry, I try not to like curse on my channel, but I'm frustrated with myself right now. So I did not figure this all out. And I don't think I have any date covers. That will go. I have these marble ones, but that doesn't really go either. You guys, what am I doing with my life? Um, I'm sorry that I'm like putting you guys through this right now. I have an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I have a lot of old 15 millimeter strips. And like, what if I just pulled out like a, a white or, or something? I have a cream. I have a gray. Does this gray match? Uh, that's an option, I guess. Not really like the best option, but at this point I'm just trying to make a decision, you know? I have black too, but the black wouldn't show up with that black. I could do silver. Hmm. Why don't I not have like a, like a white? Okay, let's let's see what's going on here. Oh, I have more. Okay, cool. Let's look through these ones too. I have marble. Okay, so I could do marble. I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like I should edit this out, but I feel like we're just like really comfortable here and we're just like hanging out. And so we're just gonna go through this this fun time here together. I also have red. Red. But I feel like red, you need like the perfect shade of red, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, it's time to make a decision. I feel like I'm like on a, on a game show or something. I feel like I don't like the marble. And I feel like the gray isn't the move either. I don't know. I feel like I'm making all this fuss and I, I could just use that. Maybe I'll do the silver one of these. Yeah. And then we'll do the black. Um. And then do I like cut them individually? Let's see. Thank y'all for bearing with me here. What do we think? I like that. I think that's cute. 
Okay, so I'm going to like put these on with all this dog hair and I'm gonna cut them individually. I, I know some of you guys said you like long videos, so I hope you guys really like this because this is definitely gonna be a long video because homegirl is a mess and that is that is fine because you know what? We are a beautiful mess. And if you're with me, clap your hands, you know? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and start cutting these up a little bit. I should probably be using like something a little more precise, but I'm at the point in my career where I'm just gonna say YOLO, you know? Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, so I started a Patreon. Um, one of my friends, my friend Kay, we, we did, I did an Instagram live, uh, Wednesday night, and, um, Kay, along with a couple other people, mentioned, you know, me starting a Patreon, and, um, I didn't really know how I felt about it at first, like, I was like, eh, I don't think I'm really that special, but, you know what, I am, I am special, I'm not gonna, like, toot my horn, own horn a lot, because I feel like that'd make me uncomfortable, but I know that I'm special, and if people are thinking that it's a good idea, then it's probably a good idea, and I told my boyfriend about it, and, um, he was saying, like, the same thing, that I, you know, I'm special, and I have things to offer, um, I am not very, like, knowledgeable about Patreon and all that, but, um, I do have a link tree set up now, and, uh, I have it there, but basically, the, it's like a membership thing, and it's a way for me to do things for you guys, and you guys support me, um, and there's like subscriptions, I have a couple different tiers, and there are different like incentives for each tier. Um, so I, I have that now, um, which is pretty exciting. Um, and my friend Alex um, like subscribed to me and I was like, girl, that's so sweet, like you don't have to. <laughs> like, I don't know, that's how I feel like I'm gonna be with like everybody like, oh, you didn't have to do this, but thank you so much. Like, it helps out so much. And like I said, it's all very new to me, but that is a thing now. So if you'd like to, you know, join that, support that, or what have you, then it is in my link tree. And also in my link tree, I have like my Instagrams, my YouTube, which obviously if you're watching this, you know what my YouTube is, but you know, consistency. And I also have any codes that I have in there, which I only have two codes right now, um, but both for really great shops so I have those in there I I'm glad with this is I'm glad I'm happy with this decision I feel like this is cute it's definitely gonna be a darker spread but it's fine by me I'm, I'm chilling with it you know okay so now I can do the sidebar question mark um let's see my sidebar. I'm going to do this red habit tracker right here. And then I'm going to do one of these blood splatter headers. And then this is going to be like pretty interesting because I have this full box and that's about it. Um, I don't have many things to work with here and I mean I could do a to-do list in the sidebar and I'd love to do that too because there's the, the ghost face checklist. So I'm going to do that and I'm also going to do some half boxes. We don't have a ton of, we don't, like we only have a couple squared off half boxes so I'm going to pull in. Oh, I wish I had a red foil one. Oh, but that's okay. I'm gonna pull in a silver one for sure. And 
I'm also going to do one for it being Halloween because I was going to boycott Halloween because my man isn't here to celebrate with me, but um, we can celebrate over the phone and it's going to be okay. We're going to have Halloween together next year and it's going to be amazing. So we have this and I'll put this box in here. This is very crooked. Um, but this is going to be for Halloween. That's from Suki Essentials. And then... Put this little Horror Night cutie in here. And then... We're going to put in... Wow, this is very crooked. Let's uh, do... Can I lift you guys up easily? No, oh, we can. Okay. I'm gonna change something up really quick. I just want this to look really, really good. I love showing my boyfriend our spreads, my spreads and stuff. I just said our spreads. Um, so I'm not gonna use this box because I don't like writing on these boxes. It's whack. Instead, I'm gonna use two of the Sticky Essentials boxes and it's gonna be really cute. And these boxes are kind of like the third kind of boxes and I love writing on them. I can use my normal pen and stuff, so I'm gonna use them and I can still fit everything in there that I need to, so. Oh, Noelle is coughing. Oh, oh that was a chunky one. And then I'll put this box in here. Okay, and then this also clears up just a little bit of room so I can hopefully fit more checklists in here. Put this on here. And then let's let's see now what we have room for. So yo Noelle, baby, you good? You Gucci fam? Okay, so I can almost fit a full one in, but I think what I'm going to do is, how do I do this? We cut this in half, very badly actually, and then, can I fit four? I can fit four. And then layer it on top like this. And then cut this. I didn't layer it perfectly, but that's okay by me. And that way, because it has the border, it still looks really cute. And that fits like perfectly. So I feel like that was very meant to be. Just like my boyfriend and I. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so in love. I am so in love. Okay. So, that's what we're looking like right now. I love this red foil. Let's go ahead and make some decisions, some very important life decisions here. Um, have I already used an October silver? Oh, I did already use a silver one. Okay. Okay. Let us see. It's foil time, y'all. And I'm terrified because I want this to look so good. So, we have these, right? Like, obviously need to. I don't think I'll be able to use these quotes. I don't think so. I might be able to put one, like, here. And we'll see if I need that room or not whenever we get to the day-by-day -day planning. Um, and then I also have numbers here. So, let's go ahead and get our tweezers out. And 26 is the number of the Monday. So, um, I always like struggle like where to put the numbers at on these rose colored days date covers. I'm gonna put this 27. And this is from the Chasing Chels red foil bundle. I highly recommend Chasing Chels. 
especially her foil bundles. She has a ton of colors, and if you like doing the um, kind of like foil underlay style planning, um, or some call it like bougie, if you like doing that, she has bundles that offer the bougie boxes with them, and her pricing is really great, and so I highly recommend her shop. We have this one here. And then the first is on Sunday. Beautiful. All right, loves. I don't know. I don't think Do Not Cross is going to fit on the top. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that would cover his face. But this won't cover their faces. So we're going to do the blood coming down. This bottom washi overlay from Sticky Essentials. And the red foil. You might see my head. My hair's in a braid. Okay. That's a little crooked, but I mean, oh my God, I love red foil. And I love blood overlays, you guys. Ooh. I remember when Delilah was first coming up with these and she was first doing them and I was like dying. Another pretty crooked one, but that's okay. Do I want this crime scene at the bottom? Do I? Do I dare? I will uh, come back to that because I'm not sure, honestly. Um, next, let's do some header overlays. Um, I think I'm gonna do the Chasing Chelsea ones because I think there's just a little bit more foil. Um, should I do that or should I do these ones because the pattern's different than that? I feel like I should do these ones because the pattern's different. Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited for this. And it's also really cool because both of these shops do their foil in the house. So it is very nice, very good. Love this. Okay. And this is where we're getting into the crooked part here because I didn't want to create a bubble. That's okay. And then do these ones. I hope you guys are doing well and that you guys are staying safe I know that with Halloween coming up some people are gonna be seeing you know other people hanging out and stuff and I just hope you guys are being safe um, and having fun and if you're able to vote I hope you have already voted because voting on election day is gonna be a mess so I hope you guys have already voted if you can I'm still debating on my kit for next week I have one from Cricut Paper Co that is a Tiger King one with Joe Exotic and there's a couple boxes that make it seem like it could be a cool like one to use for election week and Planna Hannah she actually gave me the idea for that um, and I know that she's doing that I'm really debating on it. I'm not sure. I mean, they're going to do that or a Halloween kit. Just keep the Halloween going, you know. Because I have a Disney Halloween kit from Delilah that I was thinking about using. So, I'm not really sure yet. I'm going to cross that bridge when it comes. Okay. So, I can do a full box overlay on this box here. I think I'll do one of these ones. On this, tis the season to be spooky, which is literally me year round. And I'm actually not dressing up for Halloween this year anymore, um, but for sure next year I will be. Okay, so I do have a weekend banner and if I don't end up using the um, 
you know, this bottom washi overlay thing here. I just can't tell if it would look weird. I'm not sure. Um, I might ask one of my friends about that. Or, you know, if I have this uploaded before I do the day by day, which I'm not sure, honestly. I feel like I might not. Um, but I could ask you guys for help, but I'm honestly just not sure. Oh, I have um, these ones on the sidebar to do, too. And then for up top, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet either because I don't have any more monthly scripts and silver for October because I used my one. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do up there yet. We shall see. Um, but I think this is going to be everything for this video for the base. And then I will be uploading um, a different video for my day by day. So. Let's put these down. Um, they're not going to stay down, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little wiggle. This red foil is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.